lot of people view fashion as like a very exclusive thing and it's only for like a certain kind of woman but that's not true we all wear clothes all the time and fashion can be used as a wellness tool it makes us feel good when we look good and it doesn't have to be like these really intense crazy looks it's just wearing stuff that makes you feel comfortable and makes you feel you yeah i want to bring that to all different kinds of women <laughs> how are you? Good, how are you? Well, I'm excited, that's how I am, because you're going to help me. <laughs> no, I'm very shy to be in front of the camera. I'm usually behind the scenes, but yes, I'm excited true. to do this with you. Alison has been working with me forever, for all mm -hmm. my videos, right? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be able to own all these clothes, so thanks to her, I'm able to have like very cool looks for my videos. And when we relaunched this channel with much more content, I wanted to do fashion videos, but that's the first thing you said to me, like, I want different women, I want to do different things. Exactly, I feel like a lot of people view fashion as like a very exclusive thing and it's only for like a certain kind of woman but that's not true we all wear clothes all the time and fashion can be used as a wellness tool it makes us feel good when we look good and it doesn't have to be like these really intense crazy looks it's just wearing stuff that makes you feel comfortable and makes you feel you yeah i want to bring that to all different kinds of women you know, everybody has challenges, even yeah. <laughs> even you. So tell me some of them. <laughs> when I got pregnant, it was such a struggle for me to get dressed and I was lost for a minute. All, you know, women have all different kinds of pregnancies. They carry the weight differently. Being pregnant changes everything. So I feel like there there is some women out there that gain much more weight and it's not because they eat whatever they want and they yeah. don't work out, it's just the, your body it's just a body I know we won't be able to maybe answer like every morphology of pregnant, pregnant women yeah. but I hope we can answer some so the first time I started was like sick the whole time and I felt like I was you know on a on the boat like uh, is that real is that a dream where am I I don't know yeah. I felt like super high and sick and then second people told me second trimester is gonna be honeymoon time it's gonna be amazing I actually hated second trimester <laughs> so I don't know if there is other women like me out there but second trimester where was a time where my bump came out so yes you're excited about this but it's not the only thing that comes out I started to have like very big boobs and I started to have water retention in my legs so I saw this swift how do you say it? no uh I can never shift. say this word, shift, <laughs> in my body, and I was not ready for this. Third trimester, I feel much better. I'm used to my bump, I'm used to my boobs, I'm used to my bloated legs. It made me much more self-conscious than I used to be. And uh, you have to surrender, and it's a part of uh, being a mom, I think, is to, you know what, it's maybe your person is... It's exactly. not what it's a, yeah, it's a good, right now. A, so getting dressed is diff has been really hard for me. And every time you saw me, I was wearing that kind of uh, dresses. So uh, I'm curious to see what you have in mind to yeah. help me. I was really excited. I mean, obviously, because you're pregnant, but also because it's a really fun challenge. And it's this is nine months. You know, like normally you like a really boxy t-shirt and high heels and like a skinny pant and a high-waisted it's like that's not possible right now so no. it's fun to like create a whole new wardrobe for you i mean i know it's hard but it's fun to embrace this new yeah, yeah, yeah. persona maybe a per person that, that wears really tight dresses it. yeah like i feel like if i would have showed you that when you weren't pregnant you would have said yeah. go away yeah. no <laughs> never so my philosophy here is that i think we should create sort of like a capsule collection so if like your closet is violet this is like Pregnancy by Violette. You know, like our few pieces that we sort of rotate and yeah. just make yeah. some cute, simple looks that you feel comfortable in. So, yeah, you don't have to be thinking about yeah. it or stressing about it or trying on things that don't fit you. I feel like for the purposes of, of the next month and a half, the things that don't fit and the things that you're not going to wear, just kind of put them to the side. Yeah. Don't look at them. You'll be able to wear them soon enough, but there's no point of like yeah, taunting yourself them, with, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> with high waisted uh, jeans. <laughs> I know. So if people are wondering what this is, it's a little diaper. We don't want him to pee on the carpet. No. <laughs>
Because he has, what do you call, like, emotional? Mm, he's he just kind it? of an asshole. <laughs> He'll just pee wherever he wants. Right? Let's go. You're a bad boy. Okay, let's go. I feel like we could start very, very simple. This is a look that literally every single person could wear, pregnant or not pregnant. The nice black cashmere sweater, a simple black legging from H&M, maternity legging. Yeah. Simple, easy, a coat, and just like a little flat shoe, and then maybe some jewelry. I feel like it's important for you to have like bases. Yes. So like this is a base. We add like a blazer over, okay. a bag. It's kind of just about having like the first layer. Like you want something tight, so the first layer is like a tight, something Thing, and then we add oversized jacket or a blazer pushed up because you have little teeny wrists and arms still. You can show those babies you know, off. <laughs> yeah, you so we can like, that. we can put the sleeves up. <laughs> And then here's another long dress like you summer, like. Yeah. I think this skirt is so cute with like a white t-shirt. So really nice. Also from Zara, inexpensive. If we paired something with a high boot, oh, it cool. hides the leg a bit. The tall boot, I feel like that's the styling key. Flattering, but then also gives you, like you said, just like a little Soon bit of fashion, just something. something. I'm curious for you to look at my closet to see okay. if there's any pieces maybe I'm not thinking about that could fit. So luckily, I know your closet very well, oh, yeah, so I, I kind of know what's going on. Well, this obviously is right up our alley yeah, right. <laughs> in terms of color and the fit, and it's something tight, great for winter. So yeah, this is definitely something that you got for your pregnancy, but you can wear again. And I want to ask you actually for this piece, because I saw it online and I was like, oh, perfect. It's like a long dress. I wore it and then I was like, maybe it's interesting that I will show you guys because I was wearing it and I was like, okay, I look huge. Yeah, I think the key for something like this is it has a waist that's a bit more tight to the body. Uh -huh. This, like, in theory, would be perfect, but it's too wide, and even when you belt it, there's so much extra fabric. But we should try that on to, yeah, I'll put it here to see. Well, I bought this jean, and I got really upset because it's so skinny that I already feel like, oh, you know, tight in my body. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to wear those tight jeans. So this one is like a large size for pregnant women. To me, it was like the opposite of being super comfortable. I love these two guys. Um, that's the only ones I'm wearing. I feel like as long as you have, yeah, like one or two pair of jeans yeah, that are comfortable right. and that you feel good in, you're good like that. I feel like this is perfect yeah. for a pregnancy jacket. It's long. This is also cute. Both of these could be cute with just like the leggings and the sweater look. A sweater with leggings. Okay, I'm gonna bring this over here. Already, I'm liking what I'm seeing on this rack. I feel like it's helpful, I mean, even if you don't have like a rack, but to have a separate area where you put things mm -hmm. that you like yeah. and the, the things that you keep wearing to just I kind have of- a section in my clothes, so everything we put together, I can put it there. Exactly, I, I feel like- you look at everything else, I'm just gonna be like, this right, like make your life easy looking at this all together like this is who you are. Even when you're not pregnant, this is kind of your yeah, color palette, this is your look. Sweaters, silky stuff, mm -hmm. t-shirts, blazers, yeah. So I think we should actually start by trying on this dress that doesn't work so we yeah. can figure okay. out why. Okay, let me go try that. Okay. I see like why, in theory, this should be something that works. It's just too wide. It's wide in the arms. Like you have a beautiful long neck. You have nice arms. It's covering up the best parts of you. Open on the leg so like it will show. Oh, like so you're covering everything and then that showing. That was a fail. That was a fail. The reason that these work is because they are slimmer in the body. Let's try a dress that will work. Should we? This is an easy Zara dress. I would put um, just these little boots some cute earrings and a bag. And if you saw this woman walking down the street, you'd be like, what a chic pregnant woman. <laughs> cute, easy look. Accessories are something to invest in that will fit no matter what. Bags, sunglasses, jewelry, things that you'll be able to keep and wear. Next, I think we should put on the second base, which is just the leggings and the sweater. And then we'll play around with the top okay. layer. So I love this look. It's the most simple look of all time. It's black leggings, a black sweater, and then this coat from Everlane, which is boxy and almost circular. It actually looks amazing with the bump. Just some flat shoes, kind of a, a pop and comfortable. I, like I said, accessories I feel like are fun. It's a Cezanne and that's a just a fun shape. I feel like when you're pregnant, you can go 
big yeah. because the scale. <laughs> Here's a necklace just to sort of dress this up. Like just wearing like the black underneath and adding some fun stuff over. It's so easy and it's it really does look expensive and chic. Okay, so we can use the same sweater. It just like becomes a whole other thing. Already it's just an easy look and all we did is chain the jacket. I mean, I feel like we can do one more, a purchase from pre-pregnancy. It's not gonna necessarily close, but just throwing that on, kind of like, maybe an earring. I feel like this is a very Violette look. Pre, during, post-pregnancy. I love the combination of navy and black. These shoes, I know that these are like, you're very comfortable. I feel like wearing a heel, even a small one, kind of makes you feel a little bit more put together, I would say. I feel like you could even wear this like a night out look. This is a skirt version of that other Zara dress. Some fun proportions, like the jacket's longer than the skirt, which I tend to really like. This t-shirt was Violette's, or is Violette's, and this is one that you feel like is flattering on yeah. your, yeah. I mean, when you're pregnant, it's a whole other story, but when you're buying clothes, it's important to think like, when will I wear this? How will I wear this? Yeah, yeah what I have already, like what I'm going for with my like personal style, I feel like that's a helpful tool. I'm obsessed with the way that my closet looks. So if I ever buy something and it doesn't look good in my closet, I have to return it because if it doesn't look good with the other things I own, I'm not gonna wear it. We have other skirts, so we can just kind of apply the same looks, but just change out the skirt. Another black skirt, but this one's silkier. Even throw on the same blazer that we used for the other look, or we could throw on just like this black blazer. Could be cute. That looks amazing. <laughs> so cute. See, it's like the same idea, but a totally different look. I feel like, again, something you'd wear when you're not pregnant, but it's really working. This dress is from Cezanne, and so are the boots. It's good because it covers my ankle and my calves. I'm still a bit bloated there, but it's fine, the silhouette. I feel comfortable with the silhouette. Yeah. And I feel cute. <laughs> <laughs> this is, yeah, like a little bit more young, cute, awesome. I don't know why, like it reminds me of kind of like a beachy look. So to make it a bit more city and wintry, I threw on the necklace, which I think kind of glams it up, and then the patent bag, which has a bit of shine. And I think that looks like a great F. And then again, just throw on a black coat, throw on a blazer, <laughs> you gotta look. Lastly, this is just like a easy, casual maternity jean and sweater. I feel like we can have fun with accessories. These shoes are very fun and the earrings. I feel comfortable and still like chic, but not trying too hard. I feel yeah. like it's all like, you know, casual, comfortable, very you, carefree, easy. You look great. Thanks to you. <laughs> yeah, well, thanks to you. <laughs> you're a very easy subject when you're pregnant, when you're not pregnant. So how can I organize my castle collection <laughs> so i remember because pregnancy brain no memory right for example and then the pieces that yeah I yes can put on. yeah this, exactly this we could do the t-shirt we could do any of the sweaters i think would be great with the leggings and then we'll put all the jackets together because we know that that's like the key to just like throwing okay. on top yeah. the skirts goes with the white t-shirt mm -hmm. All the sweaters that are like nice cut, long and not too big with the leggings. Mm -hmm. And the leggings can also go with t-shirts. And the t-shirt will go with all the skirts. All of our dresses. Dresses. Our trench coats, our coats, our blazers, things that we just sort of throw over the base coat and an earring. Yeah. And then that's that's the look. I was gonna say, like yeah. really, really good stuff. Yeah, I feel like every man and woman needs a jacket like this. We did Polaroids of each look, like a little mood board for, for your capsule collection. <laughs> You can either keep them someplace, you can hang them up in your closet. So if you're ever stuck, like, ugh, I'm not inspired, I don't know what to wear, you can look back on these looks and think like, my jeans with my red shoes, and then like, let me just throw a sweater on and an earring, yeah. and then that's that's the look. Damn, I wish you came earlier to, <laughs> to do this. I wish we, we talked about this in video before. I could do it for your baby. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. Oh. <laughs> He's like, down the <laughs> That's what the boots are good for. <laughs>